So we need to keep this machine running as much as possible to make money. When it's not running, we're not making any money by cutting anything with it. So every time we go to change out the sheet or we're done with a job, we have to vacuum up or clean up whatever the chips are that's left over. The machine itself does have dust collection as it came with, but it's never been as good as we wanted it to be. And so we came up with our own option which we call baby pants because it looks like a little pair of baby pants. But it's just a dust boot and it has a five inch port, which is about a 200% increase in airflow than what comes with the machine. Ultimately, what we want to have is more time cutting and less time cleaning. So we've designed it so there's no need to do any modifications to your Shop Saber router. If you do have a dust dock, you'd have to disable that, which is a pretty easy modification. It doesn't need to have the brush taken off during tool change because it just compresses the brush. So there's no modifications needed to be able to just throw our dust boot onto your spindle. So we're going to cut the same thing twice on this plywood and show you what the original is like versus our version. So we'll take off the original dust boot and put on ours. Both of these use the same, just fill up screwdriver. We recommend probably taking your tool out first. <coughs> we will undo our dust hose. Goodbye smokestack. Just use your screwdriver, loosen this up until it falls off. Done. Just make sure it's centered. Tighten up your screw in the back until it's tight. It's pretty tight. And then you can put your brush back on. We're gonna set up our dust hose now because this uses a five and we were using four before. As you can see, we've got our new five inch duct all fed in and we've got our boot mounted up. So we're just gonna put that on real quick. The key here is to not over tighten because you can crush the boot itself. You didn't tell me this side was off. All right, so we got it all mounted up. Now we can do some cutting.
I was making some comments, but you couldn't hear me on camera. There's a little bit of a blowout on the side of this plywood. It looks like it might have contributed to a little bit more blowout on the ground, but, you know, still looks pretty good to me. We do have a concept that hopefully will improve this situation for all routers that have an overhanging dust boot like ours does. So the design is also smaller in footprint and more focused on the spindle, which is another problem we have identified. Dust collection to the spindle itself was too far away. You might have seen our past video where we upgraded the ATC rack in the back. We went from having five to 12 tools capacity. It also has the touch probe for the Z-Height. Those are something we're planning to offer as well. And part of the benefit of both having more tools because of how we've spaced them, uh, is that they're on their own little pedestal stand. So that allows your dust boot to be more focused. So this version currently works with all Shop Saber ATC racks or, or other machines because it doesn't inhibit the way that you can tool change down on top of it. But our version should allow when we do a revised version of this bottom dust plate, the brush is to focus that a little bit more so that you get even more focused airflow around the spindle area. And We've spent hundreds of hours designing, iterating, and testing, but I'm very happy to say it's finally live. You can go buy our dust boot now at our website. There's a link in the description to our shop where you can order yours. Currently, we know it works for HSD 5 and 10 horsepower spindles, but we likely can adapt it for other machines, so stay tuned and check our website. Feel free to drop questions in the comments. Next up, the ATC pedestals and a duct tower to keep your duct out of the way of the Z-balancer.